Hey everyone, hope you're having a good Friday. I'm currently sat in the car. It's like the only place to get some peace in my house. <laughs> the kids are not on their own, don't worry. Um, so I thought I'd just pop in today because it's Friday. That is finish Friday in cross stitch. A lot of people like to try and finish projects on a Friday. So I thought I'd come in with five finishing ideas that you can do for your cross stitch project. So the first one, one of my favorites, hi is um making a cross stitch lampshade i love making lampshades i've made two i'm in the process of making another one as well i just think they make such good gifts for people as well as well as something nice for your house as well hey harriet um so a lampshade is a really good finish for your cross stitch project pretty easy too actually i have a tutorial for that on the blog in fact all of the things i'm showing today i have tutorials for on the blog so you can make a lampshade. Another thing you can do is make a canvas frame, which is just kind of a little twist on putting it in a traditional frame. So you literally just buy like a canvas that you would paint on and you just wrap your project around it. And I just use a staple gun at the back and staple gun it together. I'm all about quick and easy ways to do things. So that's another thing you can do, get a canvas frame and wrap it around your canvas and staple gun at the back. Another idea, this you kind of have to decide before you start stitching, but you can cross stitch on clothes. There are many ways to do this. You can stitch straight on the clothes like freehand, you can use soluble ida, like DMC do a soluble one, or you can do like waist ida where you pull out the threads after you've finished stitching. So there are a few ways that you can um, stitch on clothes that just makes like you're brightening your clothes up a little bit you can fix any like little holes you might have in your clothes as well just add some extra detailing on there something else you can make something else I love doing as well is making a cross stitch banner this is really easy you just have to finish your edges you can use a sewing machine or you can just back stitch by hand around your edges and then just like do like a loop at the top and then Put a wooden dowel in or even a stick anything you've got pop some twine or ribbon on and hang it up so that's another great quick and easy finish for your cross stitch project make a banner again there's tutorials for all of these on the blog so the last one i'm going to share is kind of a bit more autumny but for some of us we actually are already starting to think about our autumn projects so that's to make a mug cozy so you can make one for a travel mug or even just one for your favorite mug in your house or if you have plain mugs you can make some to just like add a bit of detail to them this is a great way as well to like use up smaller projects you have or any like scrap ida you have lying around so i did one with just like a small piece of ida but then carried it on with felt because it wasn't big enough to like go around the whole mug so you just add some felt around the edge on the end sorry and wrap it around then you can stick a button on the end of the felt make a little hole in it and then it buttons up at the back as well so mug cozies are really easy to you to make as well if you wanted something a bit more summery instead of a mug cozy you could kind of turn it into like a hip flask cover or like a water bottle cover if you wanted to maybe leave the felt off because you don't need to like protect your hands as much you could just wrap your cross stitch piece around it so they're the five ideas i have for you today a lampshade a canvas frame stitch on clothes make a banner or make a mug cozy so you can find tutorials for all of those over on the blog and i would love to know if you're watching the replay let me know in the comments your favorite way to finish a cross stitch piece maybe you just love finishing it in a hoop like i do or just popping it in a frame let me know in the comments i'd love to know how you finish your cross stitch pieces now I'm off to the post office and then tonight I will be actually finishing some projects as it is finished Friday. I hope you all have a lovely day and a lovely weekend. Bye!